strike one good enough for daily carry? Let's find out by running a thousand rounds through it. So I have here the strike one Ergol. Boy, all sorts of weird names here. It's the Upf Ergol. Anyway, so I've got the Strike One Ergol here, which is aluminum framed. It looks just like the polymer frame thing, but aluminum framed. It's got a nice snazzy trigger and it's got an optic cut, which uh, we're, we're kind of <laughs> ambivalent about because their plate system is kind of eh. Yeah. We're going to see if this thing will run for a thousand rounds. It's it's a nice looking, nice handling firearm, and it just so happens to fit so well in our Outlier series of holsters that uh, that I think it's worthy of me carrying, maybe. Let's run a thousand rounds through it and see if we like it. So this pistol doesn't have a barrel that tilts like most of the regular barrels. It's got this interesting mechanism with a, a keyed system that then goes down and the barrel moves back and forth on. It's kind of interesting and it's got a super low bore axis. It should be an easy shooter. The pin fits through here and that is just a slide fit. Oh, does it slide so what up? what happens is that as it goes, it moves this way. Oh, it moves it up and then it reciprocates forward. There we go. Cool. That's, and then locks down. And then locks back down in place and that's locked down pretty well. All right, let's go ahead and get this zeroed real quick and we'll start shooting a thousand rounds through it. Right and up. It's three more rounds. I swung one to the left, the other two were touching, so the other two are right. I think we're good to go. Looks good to me. Sweet. Nice job. All right, I'm just going to finish this magazine, I guess. It almost feels a little, oh, I don't know if it feels snappy or not, but it's a really good return. Duh! Is that a failure to feed? Yeah, I got to let's see if shoving, there we go. It's a thousand rounds minus one. 999. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I don't think it's looted by us, so whatever the factory had on it. Mag two. This is a Metgar magazine made for the CZ. So maybe I'm gonna have to switch to using the 10 round factory mag. You see that? It's just sitting in there. Failure to lock back. Factory magazine, number three. Same, same. Mag four. I'm gonna be very deliberate. The mag is, the round is seated all the way back. <laughs> well, it fed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Same thing, not feeding. A failure every magazine. It's starting to get a little warm. No failures. This gun feels nice. Feels expensive too. I hate that. Lock back slide. Yep. Put the mag in, hit the button. Can you not hit the button? Am I gonna get killed in the streets if I hit the button? Failure to feed. Lock back. I 
I had a delta there. Come on. What's the bigger one? You break it? You have to do this when you hit the button too and it works better. There's a thousand rounds, hot. And we're at an hour and nine minutes. Six hour elite performance, nine millimeter hollow point. Ow. <laughs> Is that hot? You can see it moves it forward, but then the hollow point doesn't have enough roundness to get up. Well, let's try the other. So this is HSTs, right? Yep, Federal HSTs. Factory mag, HSTs. Whoa. There you go. Ah. So I just got done shooting a thousand rounds through the strike one, the help of Jameson. And you know, I think the positives are that the pistol just shoots fabulous. You can pull the trigger and get rounds off on target really quickly and the sights settle right back in. And it's all solid and stayed together and we didn't lube the thing and well, we didn't lube it. So, <laughs> and you know, the aluminum got warm, but it did a nice job when it shot. Jameson. So yeah, it's easy to shoot fast uh, when it cycles. <laughs> yep. So a lot of failures to feed on that one. So that was not, not ideal, but when it did run, it was great. Yeah, I think that for me, that was the biggest disappointment. It seemed like, I think the best run we had was a few times we had two mags go through flawless, but most of the rest of the time we had a failure to feed. It was either on the first one or on somewhere in the middle, or it was like every other even sometimes. Yeah. You know, we had this trick that we learned where we could pull the slide back a little bit and get the magazine pressure to actually, it's like the slide overruns the back of the cartridge. And that means that it just ends up nose diving and not feeding, nose diving upwards, right? And not feeding. And we tried it with the factory mags and we tried it with the Metgar mags. And they seem to be about the same in terms of unreliability. Yep. <laughs> and that was just so disappointing. I, I was actually looking forward to carrying this pistol every day instead of my Glock. And right now, I don't think I've got the evidence that says that I want to run this thing for a defensive pistol. And I'm not sure competition guys, are they going to get the reliability out of this that they need to actually be running and gunning and getting good times? I, I If you're messing with malfunctions all the time, then... Uh, no, it's a problem, right? The main thing you need from a gun is reliability. Mm -hmm. Accuracy and speed are pretty secondary, and that's like way down. It got hot. <laughs> it got hot at about an hour shooting a thousand rounds. Oh, so. man. Yeah. Our, our hands <laughs> are burned and full of lead, so yeah. I think it's time to wash up. You may be wondering why we're producing videos like this Strike One test. Well, at Works, we produce precision fit holsters for pistols with lights because everyone deserves to defend their family day or night. And we've got our outlier holsters, which actually fit this pistol almost like they're made for it. There's very little rock or movement. So whether you're carrying the M6 inside the waistband or the Origin outside the waistband, we've got a solution for you with your Strike One, with the X300, with the TLR1, or even some of the larger O-lights. Please check us out at works.com. Go to our holster finder on the homepage, put in your Strike One or other pistol and see if we have a holster for you. Thanks so much for watching. This is Shan with Works. Have a blessed day.